guys, welcome to Amos C. Life. Can you all hear me okay? Yeah. 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 So it's not a two-way process, so I can't hear you guys. Um, and that's because this nice wall of glass is really good for looking at otters, but not so good for talking to guests. So at the end, stop biting me. So at the end of the talk, I will come out um, and answer any questions anyone's got, so feel free to save them up till then. Uh, but for the meantime, this is our Asian short cord otters. So I'm just going to do a bit of a training session with them. Eater, station, station. Badger, station. So we have Badger on my right here. Well, I am hungry. Right. Well, I am. Um, so he's just yeah. nearly 11 years old and he's been lived with us uh, his whole life. So he was born on Park. Uh, his mum and dad used to live here. So he is quite calm, quite relaxed. Target. Oh. <laughs> and then on my left, <coughs> we have Issa. Station. 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 Target. <laughs> so Issa is quite new to us, so she's nearly three years old, so she'll be three next month. Um, and she came to us about six months ago from London Zoo, um, and that was to pair her up with Badger. <laughs> to pair her up with Badger to, um, to hopefully give us a nice otter family. <coughs> so time will tell on that front. Okay, so just saw Badger doing a spin there. Issa, here you come. Here you go. So Issa's still learning. She hasn't been with us so long. Badge. Issa, Issa station. Here you go. Here you go. So she steps off the rock, not quite as good as Badge. Come on, forwards. Come You can see she is a little bit nervous, she's not quite as used to us as Badger is, but she will get there over time, that'll get her better. She's come on loads since she first came. So all our training is what's called vet checks. Good job, buddy. Good luck, that's an open so that I can see Badger's teeth and check them. Really good example why all our training is based on vet checks. Um, and that is because when I taught Badger to do open and his brothers and sisters, um, the first time I handed it over to another member of staff to do and they did it, um, they looked at me and said, why are his canine teeth missing? And he is actually missing his canine teeth. I didn't ask you to go there, but he is missing his canine teeth. Um, so I wouldn't know that, you guys wouldn't know that. You know, it's only when you get to look in the mouth that you find these things. So he did get to have a visit the, to the dentist after that, which I'm sure he's really happy about. Um, and he does really well without his teeth. So I am trying to teach Issa the same thing. I feel like she's going to be quite stubborn for it. So what I wanted to do is reach up and open her mouth, whether she wants to yell at me or try and open the mouth for the food. Come on. She's not even going to do that today. Issa, come on then. Good girl. Station. What about this? It's better food. Yeah, come on then. On your station. On your station. Good girl. On your deck. On your deck. <laughs> <laughs> no, Badger's going to miss. Badger, get back. Badger, go. Badger. Can you swim? Swim. 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 Oh. Swim. Oh. <laughs> Hey, he's where you going? We haven't finished yet. <laughs> okay. Try that again. So, what I'm looking for is for the reach up and open the mouth. The difficulty is they're very quick otters. Come on, Easter, go. So when she opens her mouth, she gets the food. Come on, Easter, go. 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 So as I say, Issa's a little bit scared, so you see she moves away occasionally, and that's just because she feels a bit safer. Sometimes if she gets a really big bit of food, you go. Really big bit of food, she'll go up the top and eat it by the pool there. The seagull comes in, she might find everything for the hole to stay away from it. 
So just on this behaviour, particularly the open mouth, um, Badger learned it in his in a week. His brother learned it in about a day, um, and his sister took about a year and a half. So that process with pizza there might take me a long time of just repeating and repeating and improving the behaviour. But eventually we'll get there. And, and with all training you need to train for the eventuality. So um, it just so happened I just trained Badger so open when he's lost his seat. Uh, but if all the otters can do it before they get to that point then we can keep a better eye on it. So that's the whole purpose of our training. It's not show, it's not about tricks. Anybody? So we're going to try and get Badger to get in the crush cage. You'll see he's quite happy to get in there as long as he's getting food. Um, and again, we use these crush cages if we have to um, do any vet visits or anything like that. Here we So she probably can't get in. Badger's sat there. Can you see you going to go in? Go find my shoes. Can you go? Why? I'll go swim. Badger, you're going to get out. Badger, can you get out, please? I'll go swim. Go you get. I'm going to swim. Yeah, I'm going to swim. I'm going to swim again. I'm going to swim again. I'm going to swim again. As you can see, the idea of this exercise is to mean that they're not yeah. scared of the crate, they don't associate it with vet visits and things like that, um, and Badger's completely happy. I don't know what it'd be like if I shut the door, I haven't done that for a while. Can you stay there, buddy? Are you going to stay? Can you get in? Can you get in? Can you get in? Good job, buddy. Ace, are you going to get in? Are you going to get in, Ace? Ace, come on! Okay. Come on, get in, Ace. Come on. Let's go, let's go. So you can tell Badger's a man after her own heart. He does love his food. <laughs> so wherever there's food, he's happy to oblige. Good So again, our training just to being able to move them around the enclosure. You can come up, Ace. Good go. Yeah, this one. Here we go. Badge on there, please. That one. Just helps us look after them um, and involve them in, our, in their own care, really. Drop badge. Okay, so uh, I said at the beginning these guys are Asian short clawed otters, so it's all in the name, really. They come from Asia um, and they have very small claws. Um, so you can see how dexterous they are. So Badge is lifting the food up to his mouth rather than. Heading mouth down to the floor. But they haven't got big claws to get in the way, so they're very dexterous. Dina, we can use those Dina. hands, take food off me, right. reach up for it. So just a little bit Daddy, about conservation for otters then, Badge. A little bit about conservation. So these guys, because they are so small um, and they're perceived to be so cute, um, what that means is the pet trade is actually a big issue for these particular species. So these are only one of 13 species, but because they're small, uh, they get taken to be pets. Um, and it's not really the ones that go into the pet trade that's a direct issue. Oh, Badger, are you re refusing some of my fish then? But it's the uh, mum and dad that get removed uh, permanently, shall we say. Um, and then the, that means mum and dad can't breed every year, twice a year, anything up to five pups a year, two times a year. So it's the implications on otter numbers from there on in. Uh, if you were to speak to any fishermen now, they'd say our native otter, the Eurasian otter, is becoming a pest. Um, but it's just been counted in Wales to be on the decline. Um, and we're just waiting for the results of England to see if that's followed suit and that's on the decline as well. So everywhere you go, there's otters in different countries. There's only two continents without otters. And everywhere we go, when man gets involved, we tend to cause issues for the otters. So it's about respecting them, allowing them to live their lives, um, and just managing any potential problems that causes for us. Um, another big thing for the otters is water quality. Uh, so Singapore have really managed their water quality really well. And now when you go for a walk in their park, 
Uh, you're as likely to see some otters as you are a dog. No. Um, one thing that affects our native otter, so these guys are about three and a half kilograms. Our native otters are called the Eurasian otter, um, and that's about four and a half, five kilograms. And one thing affecting them a lot at the moment is the fact that our water companies um, will uh, pump our waste out into the rivers and the seas. Um, and that's not like toxic, it doesn't kill the otters when it touches them, but what it does is it creates dead rivers. So it kills off all the life in the river. If there's not as much life, there can't be as many fish. If there's not as many fish, there can't be as many otters. So for anyone that says otters are a pest in terms of eating people's fish, <laughs> this is an otter refusing the fish that I give it. So badger has more refined taste, he prefers a bit of chick, occasionally a bit of quail. Um, and then we feed them what we call uh, otter burgers as well, so it has red meat and then we actually have to grate the carrot and apple and hide it in their burgers. <laughs> so I've talked on long enough there, I did say I'd come out and answer any questions, so don't feel free to hang around if you want to, uh, don't feel like you have to. I'm just going to scatter my last bit of food, hence the seagulls joined us. So the otters are probably going to head to the hulk, which they're doing already. And that's just as I leave the enclosure. But what they will do, or should do, is come straight back out and try and get this food. Um, as long as the seagull doesn't get it all before then. So other than that, guys, thank you for joining me on the otters. I uh, hope you got to see what you wanted to. Uh, and I hope you get to see all the animals today at Sea Life.